I'm in the same boat as you, and it has by far been one of my favorite added benefits from the VA. So I'd love for you to share with us, um, you know, kind of your thought process, maybe an example, whatever you got on chapter 35, uh, another great benefit from the VA. All right. So chapter 35, which is also dependent education assistance. And notice how it says assistance and not tuition. So chapter 35 will not pay tuition, right? So if your semester costs five grand per semester or 20 grand per year, whatever that school says, that's tuition. Chapter 35 has nothing to do with that, okay? There are other benefits and avenues you can take for that. Chapter 35 is just a stipend. So 2023, it was 1,488. That was increased. I don't know the total now. It's probably going to be around 1,500 in 2024. But basically, I'll give you an example. I have three kids right now, four here in about three days. All four of my kids, when they go to school, will have the opportunity to apply for Chapter 35. They will get a stipend, basically a check that's non-taxable income. It says, hey, here's 1500 bucks because you're family member, you know, qualified for chapter 35. Therefore we can give you this money. That's all it is. Right. So housing groceries, hopefully they're not spending it on beer pong tables or whatever, you know, kids do in college. Um, I hope that's not the case, but that's, that's what chapter 35 is. One of the most unused and just unspoken about benefits that can really like set, it can, it can change your family name and set you up for generational wealth. Just having that stipend, for your kids in college. Um, and it also applies to spouses too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love this benefit. And one of the examples that I give is, look, it's expensive out there, right? And sometimes if you have a good school near you, uh, your kid's gonna stay at home, right? They turned 18, they graduated high school, they're gonna go to the college of whatever, basket weaving, right? And um, so they're there but they're still living at home. This is a benefit in which that fort, it's currently 1488 in October, I think is when they change it. Um, it's weird. The VA is, is just this weird animal, right? So they actually apply a their own version of COLA to several different benefits. And this is mm -hmm. one of the internal COLAs. We all know the COLA of 3.2 that we received for our disability compensation. Uh, however, VA determined that they should increase this benefit. And I can't remember. I think it's 5.2. It might have been 5.6. It I was 5 5 something. I think it's okay. 5.2. Yeah. So 5.2% COLA, they're calling it a COLA, cost of living adjustment for this specific stipend. Um, boy, I wish we would have got a 5.2 on our compensation. That would have been sweet. So in any case, um, so the VA adjusts that themselves. Now this 1488, which is going to run for the next, whatever, eight months or whatever it is, um, can be applied to as many dependents as you have. So like Clay said, if you have, you know, four kids and a wife, all five can receive this benefit at the same time. If that was, you know, applicable, if they were all close to the same, you know, in the same age ranges and so forth, uh, except for the spouse obviously would be much older. <laughs> so, um, but you could increase your household income. Now let's look at an inexpensive higher level education, right? So a community college somewhere, low tuition, um, going full time, you would get that 1488 and you would get it if your spouse went and your dependent child went, now you got 1488 times two. So nearly $3,000 of tax-free additional money coming into the household, okay? Now, granted, it's being paid to your dependent child and to your spouse, but money in is money in. And if they have their own money to spend on extra things, then that's coming out of that instead of from you. Uh, so it's just another way to increase the household income during the educational process. And the whole idea is, is so you don't have to go out and, you know, maybe you only have to work part time. Maybe you don't need to work at all because you're living at home and you can buy your own food and so forth. So um, one of the things with Chapter 35 that I like to point out is your state, whatever state you're in, 
may offer some sort of tuition assistance or some sort of an educational benefit that you that your spouse or your dependents could utilize in conjunction with chapter 35. So like Clay said, this doesn't pay for your tuition. You got to pay for your tuition yourself. So for an example, if it's 300 bucks a month for tuition to go to a low cost uh, school, you're going to pay that 300 bucks out of your 1488, leaving you with, uh, you know, the, the remainder to spend on whatever you need. So what if you could get your tuition covered in another way. And you kind of alluded to that up front. Uh, the example I like to give is California. Um, California has probably, I would, I would argue the best um, as far as it's, uh, as far as education's concerned for um, dependents. If, if you are the dependent of a disabled veteran at any percentage rating, you get tuition waived all the way through to a doctorate, as much school as you can complete, tuition waived at any state school. So that would be a state university, uh, a CSU or UC in California or a community college, whatever. And, and you could push through all the way if you can get it done by a certain um, uh, age or, or dollar amount, I can't remember. The other version is, is if you're 100% rated, then your spouse can also utilize that same tuition fee waived program through their schools. One of them, and I can't remember, I'm kind of mixing the two, but the bottom line point is, is to, to, to research. One of them has an income restriction. You can only make so much money per year while you're going to school, like $15,000 a year. And the other one has an age requirement restriction. That's like, you have to complete it before the age of 27. So as much school as you can get done before you're 27. Uh, and one of them, says there's no prohibition against chapter 35. So you can go tuition free to a legitimate university and you know become a doctor and get 1488 a month from chapter 35. And so obviously I don't know every state off the top of my head. Uh, I know that one because it's a good one. You as the veteran do not need to live in that state. Just your whoever's going to school has to. Uh, so the bottom line is, is check your state, see what kind of benefits are out there. I know Texas has the Hazelwood Act, which is also a very, very good uh, educational benefit. Um, so check your state, see what kind of benefits are out there. And I will also throw out this. If your state does not offer something, let your legislators know. These states need to vie to keep us there right? They have a vested interest in us as veterans being in the state, pulling in uh, the various benefits. So uh, with that, I'm going to kick it back to you, Clay. I rambled a lot. Um, I, I, I tried to just shed a little extra light on there, but is there anything else that you could think about other than diving into, in a minute, the requirements, right? What qualifies somebody for this tremendous benefit? I guess that's what we got to get into. Oh yeah. So D DEA is... I think the California example is perfect. Like when I, whenever I mentioned setting your family up for generational wealth, that is a scenario in that state where your child could become a doctor or lawyer, or Hey, just get a four-year degree, whatever it is that wants to float their boat, start their own business on free tuition because of a state benefit, which is outside of chapter 35. But then they have the stipend from chapter 35 for housing, food, Maybe they maybe maybe your child lives with you right in a perfect scenario, and now when they get out of college, they have whatever fourteen eighty eight times yeah. however many semesters it takes to get a degree, right? And so that could yeah. that's a down payment on a home, right? Like right. chapter thirty five is life changing. But as far as being qualified for chapter thirty five, it goes back. It's very similar to Champ VA, right? You reach that P and T mark, whether you're TDIU, IUPNT or 100% scheduler PNT, 